Hey everyone, Beth from Tasty Yummies, and today we're making my grain-free spicy cauliflower fritters with a chipotle lime aioli. If you're not yet sick of the cauliflower trend, stick with me because these are an amazing way to enjoy cauliflower. These fritters are crunchy, they're spicy, they have so much flavor. You can use them as an appetizer and dip it into the aioli that we're gonna make. You can throw them on top of salads or serve it as a side dish alongside your favorite protein. These cauliflower fritters are super versatile. You can change the flavors to whatever you'd like. If you don't want a chipotle lime aioli, try my dairy-free ranch or my green tahini, my green goddess, but whatever you want to do, you can have fun with it and make it your own. So let's get started. So to your four cups of fresh cauliflower rice, we're going to add three pasture-raised eggs. We're actually going to lightly beat them. What I love about this recipe is it's just naturally grain-free, so it's paleo-friendly, gluten-free friendly, there's no dairy in here, so it's perfect for keto, paleo, vegetarian. We're gonna add our lightly beaten three eggs to our four cups of cauliflower rice. To that, we have half a cup of blanched almond flour. Then we have two tablespoons of coconut flour, one teaspoon of garlic powder, we have one teaspoon of baking powder, and then to make these spicy but also a little smoky, I add half a teaspoon of chipotle powder. If you don't like heat, you can leave it out, you can add whatever other spices you like, chili powder or without any heat, you can do smoked paprika. And then we have about a half a teaspoon of sea salt. And then just for a little color, I like to add some freshly chopped chives. You can also add uh, scallions or parsley, any other herbs you'd like. And now we're gonna mix this all together. And as this mixture sits, the uh, sea salt's gonna bring out some of the moisture in the cauliflower rice. And we also have the moisture from the three eggs. So as you mix it up together and it's well well blended, we're gonna actually let it sit so it draws out some of the moisture and then we can kind of assess if we wanna add more coconut flour to absorb the moisture or if it's okay to go from there. And while this rests, we are gonna make our chipotle lime aioli. For the chipotle lime aioli, I just use a store-bought avocado mayo. You can also make your own homemade and we got half a cup of that to start. To that, we're gonna add a couple of teaspoons of fresh lime juice, one or two. I just kinda eyeball it. The limeier, the better for me. And then we're also gonna add some fresh lime zest. And then for the heat and the spice and the smokiness, again, we've got that half a teaspoon of chipotle powder and a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. And that's it. I'm gonna stir it all together and kind of let those flavors come together while it sits and we cook the fritters. So I almost forgot to add the ground pepper. Just go ahead and freshly grind some pepper right in there, give it a stir. And then after it's sat for some time, we should be able to easily form this mixture into little patties. So you just want to test it out by grabbing a small amount and seeing how it feels. So if there's too much liquid, if you freshly rice your own cauliflower, you can just add a little bit more coconut flour to absorb the liquid. If there's not enough liquid, which sometimes can happen with the store-bought cauliflower rice, you can add additional egg, and that will kind of help with the binding. And we're just gonna form it into small little patties. So we have a well-seasoned cast iron skillet heated over about a medium-high heat, and we're gonna add anywhere from two to four tablespoons of your preferred cooking oil. So this is ghee. You can also use avocado oil, coconut oil, or any other fat that you like. And we want enough fat that it's coating the bottom of the pan. And then once we add the fritters in, the biggest piece of advice I can tell you is go slow and don't overcrowd the pan. It's the best way to make sure that they're nice and golden brown. So we're going to start adding our fritters. And they get about three to four minutes on the first side. We want them to get nice and golden brown. 
And then once they're browned, we're gonna flip them over. We'll get about three minutes on the other side. So once they're nice and golden brown on both sides, I like to transfer them right to a paper towel lined tray or a plate, and that just helps to soak up any extra oil that's sitting on the fritters. So I like to finish the fritters with a little sprinkle of fresh herbs. We've got chives here, and then I'm a big, big fan of the big flaky Meldon sea salt just to finish it. And these can be an appetizer, side dish, or again, right on top of a salad for a full meal. To grab the recipe for these grain-free, spicy cauliflower fritters with my chipotle lime aioli, head to tastyyummies.com now.